Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the world of diagramming and modeling with Software Ideas Modeler. Today, we're going to guide you through creating a UML state machine diagram, specifically focusing on visualizing the various states of an existing class. If you're working with software design or simply want to describe and understand how your applications manage state, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. For our example, we'll use a class diagram featuring a single class named order. This class includes five operations, place order, start processing, confirm shipping, confirm delivery, and cancel. First, right-click on the order element to open the context menu. Navigate to the diagram submenu and select add nested diagram. This opens the new diagram dialog. Here, choose state machine diagram and name it order states. Clicking the OK button adds a new diagram to the project attached to the order class element. Now, it's time to add the states to our diagram. Let's start with an initial state, which is the first button in the state machine diagram group in the toolbox. Drag the initial state to the canvas and clear its name for simplicity. Next, we add named states by dragging the state element from the toolbox onto the canvas. Let's create new, processing, shipped, delivered, and canceled states in this manner. With our states in place, let's connect them. Select the transition tool from the toolbox. Click it again to lock it as we'll be adding multiple transitions. Drag from new to processing, processing to shipped, and shipped to delivered. An order can be canceled from almost any state. To demonstrate a quicker method, first select the necessary states. While holding the control key, click on new, processing, and shipped to select these states. Now, drag a transition and drop it onto the cancelled state to connect all the selected states to cancelled. Lastly, we'll set trigger events for our transitions. You could simply rename each transition, but let's explore a more advanced method. Double-click a transition to open its properties dialog, switch to the triggers tab and click add new. Choose new event and name it place order. In the event definition, select the call option and choose the place order operation from the dropdown. But before we move on, let's not overlook a handy feature for when you're dealing with numerous operations. If you click on the ellipsis button while setting up your event, you'll open the element picker dialog. This is particularly useful when you have many operations and need to find one quickly. The dialog offers a search option, making it easier to pinpoint the exact operation you're looking to add as a trigger. After confirming the trigger and properties dialogs, the operation's name will be displayed on the transition. Now, we'll repeat this action for all the transitions. For each transition, double-click to open its properties dialog, navigate to the Triggers tab, and add the appropriate event. This step ensures that each transition in our state machine diagram is triggered by a specific operation, mirroring the real-life process flow of an order from placement to delivery or cancellation. Once you've set up the cancel event as a trigger for the first cancellation transition, you don't have to go through the whole process again for the other transitions that also trigger the cancel event. Here's where the add existing button comes into play. For the subsequent transitions that lead to the canceled state, simply double click the transition to open its properties dialog. Navigate to the triggers tab, and this time click on the add existing button you'll see a list of previously defined events. Select the cancel event from this list to assign it to the current transition. This method allows you to efficiently reuse the cancel event across multiple transitions, ensuring consistency and saving time. Repeat this action for each transition that requires the cancel trigger. There's one more crucial step to finalize our state machine diagram. Orders in our system can reach a conclusive end, either by being canceled or delivered. To represent this in our diagram, we'll add a final state for both scenarios. Start with the cancelled state. Using the right mouse button, drag from the cancelled state and select Add Transition to Final State from the context menu. This action adds a final state symbol to our diagram, indicating the end of the process for a cancelled order. We need to apply the same process for the delivered state, as it also represents a conclusion of the order's life cycle. And with that, our UML state machine diagram is complete. We've successfully created a UML state machine diagram in Software Ideas Modeler, 
showing the life cycle of an order class. This powerful visualization helps in understanding the dynamic behavior of systems. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on Software Ideas Modeler. Whether you're designing software, creating business processes, or just love diagramming, we've got something for everyone. See you in the next video.